And welcome back to MGD 111 Photoshop. Uh, we're going to continue with our basic adjustments that we can make to images. So we have our seaside photo still open. Um, what we want to do this time is take a look at, under image, we're going to look at one called curves. So image, adjustments, curves. Now if you've looked at the brightness and contrast before, this one kind of does the same thing, but it's actually a much more detailed version of it. Sometimes brightness contrast gets you where you need to go, and sometimes this one is uh, a much more advanced sort of thing. And again, I'm going to sort of move it out of the way here. Uh, make sure that preview is checked. Generally, if you've checked preview in one of these boxes, it should show up in all of them. But what we have here is called a histogram. Um, I don't want to bore you with the details, but basically this is saying how much data exists in certain ranges of certain colors, blah, blah, blah. What that really means, though, is uh, we have a chance to modify basically sort of the contrast and the uh, brightness at the same time. So if you take a good look at this, see how we have this little square here in the corner of our big window, and there's another square up top here, and there's a diagonal line between them. If I just put my cursor in the middle of that line and drag it up, you see the picture gets a lot brighter. It gets brighter and contrastier. If I drag this down, it gets darker. Now, uh, I don't want you to get too confused here. We're working in a mode called RGB. If you remember from color modes, uh, RGB works in that particular direction. Some color modes do the exact opposite. When you go up, it gets darker, etc., etc. Um, just move it and see which way it goes. Uh, now, the cool thing about this is uh, we don't have to grab that in the middle of the line. We can grab it towards the end, and we can really kind of warp this curve a little bit. Uh, so if you really want to try to keep the dark end of the spectrum or keep the light end of the spectrum, we can... Uh, really manipulate this curve. And notice, uh, if I grab that handle and move it in all sorts of different directions, we get all kinds of crazy looking uh, pictures here. Now I'll remind you again, if I just uh, hold down Option, Cancel becomes Reset. Now, that's pretty cool. Again, it takes practice to figure out exactly how to fix this. But here's a neat thing. We grabbed this, this line and turned it into a curve in one spot. Check this out. I'm going to grab the line here. You can see that kind of brought the picture into the darker areas. I'm going to grab it down here and I'm going to move uh, certain areas into the lighter areas. Basically any part of this curve that exists below our original diagonal line got brighter and contrastier. And any part of this curve that's above it uh, got darker and a little more muted. Uh, and the cool thing is we can drag these lines up and down uh, until we get this, uh, the look that we want. Um, and again, it takes a lot of practice to get exactly the kind of curve that we want, um, but it's, it's a pretty cool feature. And, oh my goodness, look at that. We have sort of an S-curve. Once we get going with that, hey, now we're getting into some crazy stuff, right? And we can keep adding handles to it, too. So we can bend this thing in all sorts of weird directions. This is called solarization. And this is what the world looked like back in the 60s if you weren't alive back then. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect. There's a lot of times you're not actually going to want to be able to use this, but that's okay. Uh, by the way, if you want to get rid of one of these handles, if you've gone just a little too crazy with it, if you just grab this little square handle and just drag it outside the box, it disappears. So if we've gone a little too crazy with our curves... Uh, we have a chance to uh, fix that. Um, another thing we can do, by the way, I'm just going to get rid of all these curves, so I'm going to go to Option, Reset, Cancel. Uh, we can also grab the square that is in the corner up here. So I'm going to move this one to the left, and notice it brightened up the picture, but what's cool is the bottom part of the picture stayed kind of consistent. The, the further down the bottom of the scale you are, the closer it remained to the original. So we're just kind of really modifying the top end and saying, up above this part of the spectrum, blast it out. And the rest of it, let's keep a nice even keel. Uh, if I put that back and drag it down this way, we get sort of the opposite. It loses contrast a little bit. Uh, let's put that back. So again, option, reset. We can do that with the bottom curve, too. Uh, you can see it got a little less contrast as we moved it up. If we move it this way, it gets darker. So we've got darkness and contrast that we can play with at the same time using these curves. Uh, so experiment with that. I know everybody wants to play with the uh, weird color bands here. 
We call this solarization, by the way. It's a really cool effect. Uh, I know you're going to want to have fun with that, so go nuts, enjoy it, and uh, we'll come back and take a look at this in greater detail later. There's, there's a bunch of features on this that we haven't even thought about touching yet. But for now, I want you to click Cancel. So we're back to our original picture because we're going to take a look at some more adjustments in the next module.